let's imagine that my company has a special format for all their descriptions and I want to be consistent from one file type to another. And I want that format to be something like this. I want to have the word 3D vision at the very beginning and then the width of the gate in inches, the word inch, and then the type of gate that the user chooses and then the word gate. So to set that up first, I can bring up my data card. And what I did was I created a description field here and then a add in button and I connected that to Pigeon Coop 26. Uh, to make this work, I need to actually use the SQL side of Pigeonhole. And so I built up a SQL statement to something like this where I can take the, the values and populate them up to build up the string as you see above. Now there's one little bit of a trick to it is because of the fact that one is my width is in feet and I want to convert that to inches. So what you see here, I'm taking my width and I'm multiplying that by 12. But also that is going to return an integer and SQL doesn't like to mix integers and uh, strings together. So this convert to varchar is varchar is SQL language for string. So what I did was I took my SQL statement, I pasted that in, into here, connected this to my description variable, and you notice that I have a pigeon coop 26 up here at the top. So when I click the button, this will be the statement that is run. And I did have to put in connection to my SQL server because SQL was the one running the uh, command. So now as a user, all I need to do is click the button and it will go out and build this information for me. And the reason why is the pigeonhole will recognize that if that select statement only returns one choice, then it's not going to go through the effort of showing you the drop list. It's going to automatically populate that dialog box for you.